Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be covering an unboxing and a review of the Alcido Suture Practice Kit that we received and we'll take it step by step, take a look inside and see what's all included. So stay tuned. When it comes to suture kits, there are a lot of different options out on the market. And if you're a student or a provider and you really want to find the kit that's right for you, uh, the Alcido kit, we're going to take a look at it, open it up and see if it has what you're looking for. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, it comes uh, neatly in a box like this. So we're going to go ahead and open up the box. Once we open up that box, we'll see that they include a little bag to carry everything in which i really like i really like that about this kit um so we'll open up that bag see what's inside all right i'm gonna put this bag off to the side over here all right so first of all we have a uh, support the number and I, I have contacted them before. They didn't send us this kit, we actually already had it, uh, but they are really receptive and responsive. So if you had any problems, you can call their toll-free number or send them an email and they'll help you out. Um, looking inside, we have a kit that has all of our essential tools in it. We have our silicone pad, which I'm gonna take out here. And we have our sutures and a few uh, blades for our scalpel. All right, so let's open up this uh, kit, see what we have inside. All right, I love the color of this kit. It's one of my favorite colors. It's like a um, Tiffany blue. Uh, inside we have a pair of curved team stats. Uh, we have some needle drivers, uh, which seem to be good, good quality uh, needle drivers. Uh, we have some rat tooth forceps, some suturing scissors, and then we have a replaceable um, uh, blade handle for our scalpel blades. So we, and then they include some scalpel blades. We'll see just how many they include in just a second. So I'm gonna put this back, set this off to the side. Uh, again, we have a silicone pad. This is a pretty thick pad. And one thing that I really like about this is if you look inside, it actually kind of tries to replicate the epidermis and the dermal sub-Q layers. So if you look in there, there's kind of a, a change in coloration from the epidermis downward, which I like. Um, it has a lot of variety of different uh, lacerations and things uh, that you can practice suturing up. And it's a nice thick, it seems like a good quality uh, silicone base. Now, opening up our little goodie bag of sutures, we're going to take that out and we're going to see what's all included here. I'm going to set that off to the side. Uh, before we get to the sutures, I want to show you that they do include, um, it looks like five blades for our scalpel. Uh, and these look like they are, uh, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Let's look inside. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we'll see what size blade we have. So, right, so we have a 10 blade and those are easily uh, placed on top of the blade handle and that way you can replace them as needed as our scalpel. Now, suture wise, probably wondering what's included inside. Uh, we have some polypropylene uh, monofilament. We have 4 -O. We have one, two, three, four, five of those. Then we have the polyester braided 4 -O. We have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, silk braided 4 -O, We have one, two, three, four, five again. And then nylon monofilament, we have uh, 4 -O. We have one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like we have five, 10, 15, 20 sutures to work with. They're all 4 -O. Um, it would be nice, I think, if we had a little bit of variety, maybe throw in a few two O's, three O's, five O's, just to kind of see the difference in the thickness of thread. But no problem. This is a nice amount of suture material to start out with if you're trying to practice. Um, and so in a sec, we'll go ahead and take a test drive and see how this uh, silicone pad performs. All right, so now that we've seen all that comes in this kit, 
Let's go ahead and take this uh, silicone pack for our test drive, throw a few stitches in and see how it reacts. So I'm gonna get my needle drivers. Oh, uh, let's see, let's go for a nylon monofilament, 4-0. So we'll open this up. Open it. While I'm opening it, I wanna ask you, uh, you know, if you like these videos and you wanna see more content, be sure to put in the comment section uh, anything that you'd like for me to, to do a video on. I'd love to hear uh, your input, your feedback. I know in one of my previous videos, y'all mentioned the, um, the Alcido kit. So I wanted to take a look at it and, and make this video so that y'all could see what all comes inside. All right, so I'm gonna load up my needle. I'm ready to sew up a laceration. I'm gonna pick this curvy one and I'm gonna throw in a stitch here. Uh, let's throw that in. All right. So, so far so good. Put that stitch through, I'm gonna pull it through and tie it off. So this is a 4-0, it's not super thick and it is a little bit tricky to pull through because that silicone's kind of a little rubbery and thick, but it does go through pretty nicely. Now, with most kits that I've seen, the surgeon knot is where we have trouble keeping that laceration together. This one does perform pretty well. It is keeping it closed for the most part, which I like. Um, and let's go ahead and tie, lock that knot out. It did, it did approximate uh, better than I thought it would, which is nice. So we'll finish tying this one off and then we'll throw one more just to kind of feel how it, how it reacts on a different laceration. So I really like the way that performed. Um, it felt pretty true to life. And uh, you know, I've put in a lot of stitches in my career and this really did kind of feel like I would expect it to. So let's go ahead and try uh, a wider laceration. Let's try this one over here to see how that one performs. So we'll throw that stitch in, just putting in a simple interrupted. Uh, that's kind of the bread and butter of stitches, the one we do most often in the emergency room setting. So uh, it's the one I have my students practice the most. All right, so let's go ahead and tie a surgeon's knot here and pull it together. Now, just like with some of the other silicone pads, when I try to, to tie a surgeon's knot on this really wide laceration, it does not stay. And that's typical. Uh, I just, you know, I tell my students if that's, if that's what's going on here, um, no problem. Just understand that real skin is going to stick and stay uh, the way that you want it to. It does approximate pretty well. I'm actually pretty impressed at how these stitches come together. Um, I do like uh, the kit. I really, really, I think what sets this kit apart is this bag that it comes with because uh, we have our silicone, we have this box that it comes with, but for us to be able to stick all of this material in this bag and be able to take it with us in our backpack, to school, uh, to the library, wherever we're gonna be practicing, I think that's what set this kit apart. So I really like that. It also has a nice variety of sutures. Um, the silicone pad seems really sturdy. Uh, the tools, um, they're definitely easy to use, easy to work with. And overall, I really like this kit. So if you want to take advantage of this kit and you want to purchase it, there'll be a link down in the description below. Um, be sure to check out some of my other videos and stay tuned for more videos where we'll be doing other reviews, unboxings of kits and things that you might need as a student or a medical enthusiast. So thank you for joining us today and we'll see you real soon.